so the weekend before last I purchased this cheap I think Chinese table fan it came with this plastic base and a cheap plastic blade and it came with the two guards oh, and some center cover apparently that goes here so the plan is to not use this and make something else for that righty loosey lefty tighty one of the first things I'm gonna do is measure this faceplate and everything I need so I can make a 3D print an interface and some kind of rotary fan so that's the plan so this is a 3D model of the table fan I just showed this is modeled without the propeller guard because I'm gonna lose that anyway furthermore I plan on not using the propeller this propeller nut I don't need and I think I'm gonna replace this nut as well so I've been modeling something like this I wanted it to look like some uh, jet plane engine so that's how I came up with the shape there's a cutout at the bottom so that I can still tilt and rotate the fan it's a pretty complex shape and the inside this surface is, uh, is basically a cylinder so that it clears the blades so this is the part by itself all in one piece it's, uh, it's pretty big it's the biggest thing I ever printed here you can see the inside diameter of 282 but this part is far too big to print in one go so I divided it up in print size portions here are the eight parts you can recognize them by the color if you explode this it looks something like this four segments at the front then a set of connecting rings which have screw holes in them which tie into screw holes here at the inside and four segments at the back of the shroud it all gets connected with small M3 button head screws it's going to take quite a while to print so no time to lose I guess for reference from right to left you see the progression this is the uh, original fan this is the new fan but with the shroud in one piece and this is what it's going to be of course the colors are not representative the shroud will be white the spinner I haven't decided yet Let's get slicing and 3D printing. I did a test print of the central hub which will uh, house all the blades, 18 in total. Let's do a test fit. So this should slide into here. And so it does. It's a bit tight, but that's okay. There's a little bit of play, but that's not a problem at all. For the second one. Tight, but this is uh, too tight. So I guess while we're at it, 
I'll do a, a test fit. The diameter seems to be okay. And push it in all the way. So the standard rotation direction is, I think, this. I'm going to print this hub completely right now. After confirming that the blades fit, I printed a full hub. It's already on the fan motor. Here's the last one. It fits on there rather nicely. It still needs a retainer ring on the back. And that's where this ring comes in. The bolts fit into these holes. These will line up perfectly. I'm going to slip that ring next. So that's nice and tight. test run. I don't think it will come flying off, but just to make sure I fix the fan in place. It's tight enough. Let's power it up. I can feel some wind. But I think this tiny 40 watt motor far to underpower for this for second speed but I'll stop running it because it might easily overload it is very quiet so short project update I've been busy printing all these parts, one still to go, so sorry for the noise in the background, but the printers are hard at work. Of these eight big parts, only one remains to be printed. It's being printed right now, as well as another part I'll show you. So this printer is printing the last piece of the shroud. The other printer is printing the first brace show you what I call a brace. On this list I marked which parts are ready. As you can see this one is the one that's being printed right now. 25005 and that's uh, that part in the top left corner here. All the other big parts are finished. Uh, I'm printing this brace here 21009 that's being printed on the first printer right now should take about three hours so the other stuff is uh, basically finished printing it looks like this I just put it on there loosely no screws yet still have to do a lot of cleanup uh, three more parts here they're not as pretty as I'd hoped I still have uh, problems with that new printer there's still one more part I still have to print this one I call this a mounting plate, it will be used to fit the entire shroud to the faceplate of this fan. Together with this mounting plate, I need eight of those mounting arms, I call them shroud mounting arms. They are finished, they are right here. Still have to clean those up, like that. And those are ready as well. What else? A bit more about the faceplate. So the spinner to loosen it, you turn, need to turn it right. 
very solid. And this can come off. And right on here, you see the clamp ring, also 3D printed. It's a one to one copy of the original mounting ring that came with the fan. And this was a test print I did a while back to test the fit of those uh, dowels as well as the main hole diameter. And I needed to uh, check if the position of these venting openings was at the right location. And they are. It was printed very thin, I think only 2mm, which was enough for my purposes, just checking the fit. It fits nicely, so that means I'm ready to proceed and uh, print the entire mounting plate. This part of the shroud is the front part. Usually this is the part of a jet engine where the air enters. In my case, <laughs> this will be the part where the air exits. This side needs to be entirely flat because these mating parts need to go on something like this. This one goes right here. And I need that to really fit tightly without a visible gap. Fits nicely. There's almost no gap visible. Good enough for my purposes. In between here and this opening goes that one brace that is being printed right now. So that brace goes in here and here. A lot of mounting holes. So that's the plan. All these back parts have these tabs and these will take these arms. Two per shroud part, eight in total. Something like this. The last parts to be cleaned were these eight mounting arms. They mount onto this faceplate. This faceplate then goes onto the fan. So to disassemble the spinner, you need to spin it clockwise. was printed for test fitting purposes. It's a bit hard to see. You see an arrow there. And I printed that arrow to indicate the up direction. Let's screw on the clamping ring so we measure straight. Okay, time to mount these arms to the mounting plate. Okay, and then of course there is the shroud itself. So the shroud looks nice. It's uh, the biggest thing I ever printed. So this should fit right into here. Something like so. It's quite heavy, something like, like a kilo, I think. So, the shroud fits nicely. Next step is mounting the blades. I took off about half of them, put them to the side, and that way you can uh, tilt and mount this into the shroud. Very important is the orientation of this small dowel. I need to align that with this slot. The dowel is about horizontal. I'll keep this as horizontal as I can. Now it's on. As you can see, it rotates nicely. And just making sure they're all seated correctly. Take my spinner, mount it on. Let's power it on, see if anything explodes.
cool breeze it is done it's ready I painted it I'm using a second fan to help the paint dry the spinner is also painted it spins nicely this is my interpretation of a nice looking fan well that's it for this time Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.